Hi guys and welcome to Catch Club. We are here in London with NXT UK superstar Tyler Bates. Tyler, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. So, we're going to talk a little bit about WWE 2K. So first of all, do you play video games? Uh, I used to play video games a lot more when I was younger. Uh, I was really into games like Mortal Kombat. So that, that's a classic, and um, of course, Smackdown. Smackdown vs. Raw was my first wrestling game, okay. and it was actually how I got into wrestling. Did you get a chance to play yourself uh, already? I haven't yet. Oh, not I've, yet. I've had a chance to see my character, and I'm, okay. I'm pretty happy. With it. Well, I tried it. You're pretty good. You're ah, pretty thanks. good. So we're gonna go a little bit. Uh, we're gonna talk about your career. So you're pretty young. You're 22 years old right now, yep. right? You uh, started in NXT at 19. Before that, can you tell us when did you started watching wrestling? So I started watching wrestling at about eight years old, um, and I was always just a huge fan of it. I started wrestling with my friends in the back garden on the trampoline. Okay. And I, it, ever since then, I, I knew that you know because I enjoyed wrestling with my friends in the back garden so much. I thought, why not just do it as my job? So I, I knew that I had to find a way to start wrestling. When I was 14, I was lucky enough to find somewhere that would train me. And ever since the age of 14, it's been quite a, a natural progression. You started at 14 years old. Yeah. That's crazy, that's crazy. Where did you train? Um, I started training in Netherton, uh, in a small unit, um, for with, with a man called Kevin O'Neill. He was, he was my first trainer. And then along the way, I, I met people like Pete Dunne, Trent Seven, uh, Dave Mastiff, uh, give a shout out to guys that aren't here called the Hunter Brothers, who actually played a big part in my training as well. And I'd wrestle these guys quite a lot on local shows, and it helped me become, like, it helped me progress a lot faster than a lot of other wrestlers normally would do, I think. Who, who were your fa favorite wrestlers when you were younger? Uh, as a fan? Yes. Uh, my favorite wrestlers were Kane, Rey Mysterio and Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam, me too actually. <laughs> and you're really into strong style of course, we know that when you watch NXT UK you know it. How did you get inspired to, to go into that style? So I, I like to think that I've taken small pieces of so many different styles of wrestling. So I like to take things from the classic British style of wrestling, like the hold for hold technical style. I take things from guys like Johnny Saint, and then I look to like 90s All Japan style wrestling. There was a guy called Mitsuharu Misawa, who was a big inspiration for my style of wrestling as well. And so you yeah. you watched a lot of Japanese wrestling too? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Of course. Yes. So you started at NXT UK in 19, at 19 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, how were you when you got that call about NXT UK? What was your reaction? Um, very um, excited, but at the same time very curious because there wasn't really anything set in stone of what we were going to be doing. NXT UK didn't exist. Yes. Um, it was just kind of a whole bunch of British guys getting signed all at once. And going Not, into yeah, the unknown. Going into the unknown, no one really knowing where we were going and just kind of improvising our way through WWE and just hoping that one day the the hard work pays off and I guess now finally we have NXT UK we have some of the NXT UK roster in 2K20 so it's cl clearly so paying off clearly yeah something's there is something off. good right there yeah and so you became NXT champion NXT UK champion the first ever champion at 19 years old how did you feel did you feel a lot of pressure yeah uh, there's a lot of pressure and especially that early in my career as well and still being so early in my career and like I said earlier like not not only I didn't know where not only did I not know where uh, all of the UK guys were going but I, I was kind of representing everybody of course with the title also not knowing where I was going <laughs> also not really knowing who I was as a performer yet at that time and just kind of, like I said, improvising my way through it and just trying to do the best job possible. You were a great champion, of course, great yeah. champion. And do you have any favorite memories during your title reign? 
I guess. Um, I guess. I guess my biggest memory was actually dropping the title to Pete Dunne. The the match in Chicago. It felt like that match. It almost put the UK guys like on the map. It was like okay, these guys kind of. Not they, just kind of. I, 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 guess, I guess they know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, they know yeah. what they're doing, of course. So, yeah. talking about great matches, you just had an awesome match against Walter. Yeah. Can you tell me how do you prepare for a guy like Walter? I don't know. Um, so, I, I, I'm not as strong as I used to be. Uh, I tend to. I, tr I train more. I, I do a lot of yoga these days. I do oh, a lot really? Of, yeah, I do a lot of stretching and just a bit trying to like move as efficiently as possible. And I guess in a way that kind of does help for someone like Walter, being as big as he is, you're able to like move around a lot better. But I kind of I missed being as strong. Yeah, I, I missed being able to like lift someone so big with like so easily. Um, so I guess cardio. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm if I'm not going to be as strong, I need to work on distance you know how, how long can I wrestle for at the at the highest level do you watch your matches again after it or no yeah, yeah. What, yeah. what did you think of this match because I mean people say it's a match of a year candidate you know what I mean so how do you feel about it it, it really felt like so I, I normally watch my matches back and to for like critique I like to I like to pick bits and pieces that I liked and didn't like and I like to change them for future matches but it felt like in this one I, I finally I, I just I didn't I, I felt just really proud of everything of e even though I didn't win it, I was just really proud of everything of, that, of the match that, yeah of the match yeah. Right. so right now you're in NXT UK what are your goals right now? Um, I guess as far as NXT UK goes Trent and I are still yet to hold the NXT UK uh, tag titles. I feel like that's something that we should probably get done and since we're. So, um, as I mentioned before, I'd, I'd like to put us almost as like pioneers as of NXT UK. So I feel like it would only be right if one day we held the NXT UK tag titles, and I don't know. Maybe we'd be the first team to hold both NXT UK and NXT tag team titles. Yeah, right. And after that, um, we recently heard that Pete Dunne is going to move to the United States mm. and maybe go on NXT, maybe Raw, maybe SmackDown. Do you wish to do the same maybe in a few years? Um, I'm, I'm always open to the idea, but I feel like at the moment I'm so I have so much left to give to NXT UK yeah. that I want to be able to. Uh, almost like give as much to NXT UK as I can before I move on to NXT or Raw or SmackDown. That's awesome. You know. Make it as strong as possible yeah, I'll, before I'll, you leave a little baby. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, yeah pretty much, yeah. <laughs> pretty much, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for everything, Tyler. Wish you all the best. Thank you. And uh, hope to see you soon again. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Set up for the Thank you.